Well, it's taken a while, but it's finally happened. This is my 24 model Zonar V Sojourn. I've wanted our own van again for a little while and we've finally been able to find a slot that worked and fit it in with the production team. So here it is. So I'm gonna take you for a bit of a run through my own van today. Some of the things and the reasons why I pick and choose things. And this year you'll see us, we're pushing our brand out across the nation and I wanna get down to Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, South Australia, so across the top. So you'll see us in lots of different spaces, but this van's gonna be the vehicle that most of it'll happen in. I might, you might see me in a couple other things when we're promoting other, other parts of the brand, but the main thing for us is the sojourn for Elisa and I, because Elisa works uh, full time on the road, so she needs a bigger space. Let's go and have a look. So we've got, obviously, I went diesel heater, and the diesel hot water because we'll be down in the high country and we'll be down in the Melbourne, Victoria, Highland during the sort of cooler months. So not by choice, I probably would go there normally. We've been there before in summer and it's beautiful, but that's when we're getting there. So we're gonna have to deal with a bit of cold weather. So get yourself a diesel heater, makes all the difference. Big toolbox, I'll have that filled up with all the little goodies that we need on the road. I went barbecue slide, so Barbecue slide is pretty important to me. We um, carry a, a Sizzler barbecue straight on there. Still got preparation area. Some of the things in this van is a little bit different to others. I'm testing and trying some things, but yeah, I won't go too much into depth with that, but I can just say that always, we're always testing, trying things. We often do that with customers as well. Get it out there with a different group of people. So there's probably eight vans that are running different things this year that are helping us to develop our brand, develop Zones vans to a, a higher place in the market. And that's what we strive for. So obviously people often ask, why did we go back to two big front windows in Sojourn? The main thing is you've got to be able to get your um, fridge out. So now with a 270 litre fridge freezer, you, most manufacturers run a bit smaller so you don't, and they'll take it out uh, through the door. Once you go that 270, the easiest way for anyone to ever service it is take it out these windows. People often like the idea of having the split windows. I've had both. Um, really doesn't make a lot of difference, safety wise or whatever. You can put these up. If it's that bad, I'm running air con if I don't feel secure. But to be honest, you get massive cross flow here. It makes a huge difference. They work really nice, like I say, with the awning. You get a lot of breeze. Obviously all our vans now got the big kitchen um love having that so easy we've seen that a lot but that's something that i'll pack with my own stuff i've got a couple of my bags already in here i'm starting to sort of get set up for how i'll have it but you'll see a couple of these different bags that we're working on so they'll come in the market soon where you'll be able to purpose built for all of our products so i've said it lots um i've got some bigger tires and things just for what i'm doing testing a few different things. Suspension wise, I've got the ATX. I've actually got the unleashed um, shocks on this and that's something that definitely I think we will be offering in the market. I've had them in there. I've tried them on other things. They're adjustable. So they'll give you some really good, um, just I think more support. We've been airbags for a long time now. We don't build anything without airbags, but they just enhance your experience. I had them set up on the medium, just driving up here, just to see if I could see the difference from normal of what I normally tow. Obviously I've just had a Peregrine for a while. Definitely did soften it up. Um, airbags make all the difference. Cruise is a great product, but the Unleash, yeah, definitely 63 mil, I believe, um, bore and shock. They've got a bigger um, reservoir, I think it's 70% bigger. So they definitely will be better if you're really out there and you're pushing it to the limits. I've already put my little muck mat steps protectors on there, but rear door sojourn makes it really easy straight in to get into your kitchen, straight into your fridge when you want to load on the road. Just because we're going to be on the road pretty much full time, I wanted to have just that little bit bigger um, I've, I've used all our vans, been in all of them. They all have their purpose, but I really do think if you are in a van full time and traveling and moving a lot, just can't beat this layout. Such a nice layout to have. 
Anyway, we'll come around. So again, I just go with the one spare tire. I think a ladder's pretty important. You can get up and check all your stuff on the roof, give your panels a bit of a clean. All right, I often get asked, awnings, automatic, manuals, steps, everything. Okay, so my van, I've actually gone automatic awning, as you can see, it's just so simple. So I'm going my awning out. And like I've said all the time, this makes life so easy. And you will use this a lot more if you have this awning. So away we go, there we go, we can adjust it here. Now people often, I'm wearing a hat myself, this is where they bump into. The easiest thing I've seen lots of people do, they just put a little thing there to hang so you know it's there. I think once you're into it, you'll be fine. But I really, that just makes life easy. Automatic steps, I just went that way this time. Um, manual's still fine, look, automatic, I love that. The steps, I just went that way because it was just making the whole van, I think, make sense. It's all automatic. And basically, I went the auto leveling as well. So, manual's fine. You can still pump them up. You can drop them down. It just makes life easy. But when you get there to the end, I can say to Lisa, can you just flick it over to auto, ride height? It does it all for us. She can easily put the steps away and we're away. And so, it's probably in some ways... I don't have to always be there to do that. So if you and your partner want to make it a bit easier, and we always, all of us have two jobs, like we often, you know, can you do that? I'll do that. But I just think that makes it easy. So electric steps, awning, it's really simple. It's just a flick of a button and then the auto leveling. So those three key features, they make a big difference and it's just ease of operation. So again, I don't really care, you can do it however you like, but for me, that's what I sort of went to. All right, so one of the things we did with ours was we went the L shape. That just opens the place up a bit more. So during the day, as I said, Elisa works online, so she can be there, you've got quite a large area. It just opens it up a lot more in here. And when you don't need it, you can actually push a table across even more. So it just gives you a space, makes it really easy to move around. We've just found, we've had both. We've tried lots of different things. For us, we feel like this is the best. And then you can actually have someone can really pretty much lay down over in that area. Someone can be on the bed. So if you get wet days and things like that, Sometimes in the cafe you might feel you can still sit sideways, it's fine. Um, I just think this, for us anyway, just works the best and that's our option. Happy for you to choose either of those, but from our perspective that's been really good. In a 21 footer too, your TV's out of your way a bit more, so obviously in a 19 footer you, you're going past all that and, and that's acceptable, but just does make it pretty easy. We actually run a 32 inch now ourselves just to give ourselves a proper smart TV where we're doing lots of other things with it. But that works really nice and we run Starlink all the time. Helps just to make life a bit easier. It's just really nice, it heaps of cross ventilation. I went the separate um, drinking water, we found that to be really helpful. So you have your tank separate. So that's why this um, little one here is, so you've got your complete separate drinking. That comes actually with a separate whole pump and everything under here. So double bins, it's just all easy. We've got um, double induction in here, single induction outside. We carry a air fryer as well, and then obviously we have a barbecue. So you can really cover lots of different styles of cooking. At least has a thermo mix, so it's quite a bit of stuff there you can do. But it, it's quite easy too, everything's accessible. There's heaps of space. Like for two people, it's actually pretty hard to fill it all, but I would suggest don't fill it all because uh, you'll overweigh your van. Now, I went the four ton upgrade. My vehicle at this stage, what I'm using, I don't have a four ton, but I can just keep this at the three and a half. But one day when I want to increase it, it's all ready and able to be done. So yeah, very nice and open, heaps of room. When you heat these things up too with the diesel heater, it's pretty simple. You don't have to run them very high. Um, they're really well insulated, so they keep the heat in there. Diesel hot water is just phenomenal, so really simple. Our Peregrine and a Sojourn have very similar showers, to be honest. We've actually made our Peregrines quite good in that area. This gives you just a little bit more 
OGO toilet works well, composting, all the things that we've had for a while now, we just really appreciate. And in here, it's just enough room too, when you're sort of full time, you can get in and out easy. You both got a bit of space, you can work really well out of it. So, so a couple of things we've been testing and obviously we're always in development with things, but just making some purpose-built bags we've talked about a bit. Just so when you carry things, store stuff just so they don't get broken and smashed and that so we're just always testing trying different things lots of opportunities for that when we get out there and like i said it's not just ourselves doing this we try and push it out to a few different customers so they're out testing and trialing too and they can give us honest feedback sometimes when you're the creator you might just be so caught up in that little development that you've done that innovation and that you don't see past that so one of the good things is is letting it out to let others give you some feedback as well so one of the other things we're doing in this van we've got usb-c charging points in all the different areas across the van so that'll be really good so technology is always improving going better and moving forward so really want to do that obviously the new red vision is really excellent so the 100 alpha charger We've got the Red Vision um, control here. It's really simple, works off your phone. Life's pretty easy since that's come into our um, being and I love having that accessibility, so easy to use. So we'll look forward to using that 800 amp. So we, we got 800 amps in ours. This one actually has um, over 12, it's got 1200, I think 1240 of solar. So maximum solar really makes a difference you want to be harvesting as much of that as you can and i carry a 300 watt solar blanket as well so basically we're pretty good with our power we've come out of normal camping before you could afford a caravan things like that so we try not to be over the top with our power usage and we can we can survive pretty well with what we've got here yeah we can't wait to get out and see some iconic places and do some really interesting traveling this year and meet people on the road, see what's happening out there in the industry and really push the brand out across the nation. Cause that's something that we're passionate about at Zone is expanding our horizons and pushing the limits. So I really look forward to doing that in 2024. So hopefully I get to see you somewhere down one of these tracks and we'll definitely be pushing along there and getting out as much as we can. So look forward to seeing you hopefully one day in a zone of your own. <laughs>